I'm gonna move you into that other spot. Then I can explain them. Swords Titus can get. Mm. I just picked swords Titus can get that are that were somewhat themed. Uh, I am Brotherhood is the water element sword. Brotherhood is Waka's brother's sword that he gives to you that is forced to be water elemental. And it was like the sword you were used. Sonic me. Steel was just a attack based weapon, but it had the name Steel. Mm. So. Gravestone was a sword that had the stone petrify effect on it. Heartbreaker was just reaching a little bit, but that was just for the ones I couldn't get exact matches to. I just did, like, it's just different swords he got because the, the petrification, the petrification scale in Final Fantasy X, the effect is stone. So, mm. it's a rock type. Mm. Sonic Steel is just because there was the... It's a steel type. Heartbreaker is just a name of, like, a... One of his okay damage dealing weapons, okay. so there isn't a lot of theming here. And Brotherhood mm. is the name of... That's Waka's brother's sword. But Brotherhood is forced to have water element damage. And the funny thing is, water element damage is kind of a thing associated with Titus. And what I find cool is they this Caldeo isn't just any Caldeo. It came with Secret Sword. Yeah. What? Yeah. In case anyone's wondering about what the big deal here is... Caldeo has two forms. Forms and giant fucking air forms. It is literally whether or not its horn is slightly different looking. Because when it has this move, Secret Sword, it changes into this alt form. It has, it has that unicorn horn in the headdress of feathers. Where... Where normally Caldeo doesn't have those. But... They also, something that I think would have made Caldeo, and I've said this for years, and I'm sitting here talking about it, so the forms of Caldeo, there's this regular form where it basically it has a smaller horn and it doesn't have feathers, and then it gets mm. the armored horn and the feathers. Literally, the only difference... With Caldeo! The only uh, difference is that, which is also side note, that means if, like, if you see a Caldeo in this form and it never uses Secret Sword, like, you see all four of its moves, that means it cheated. Not that the form... Not that the form fucking matters, I'm just saying that's a funny uh, thing there. Just trying to remember what the names of the... Forms are and resolute form. That was it. But and I've said something about Caldeo, and this would have made me like one. Caldeo doesn't get ice beam, which is stupid. But something I've said, and this would have made its form changes and its ability have more importance. Ordinary form, the one twenty nine should have been physical attack. Resolute form, when you get this move, which is a special attack that deals physical damage. It's like Psy Shock, but it's fighting time. This form should have flipped to be special. Hmm. That would have made Caldeo... And maybe this form gives Caldeo a special version of Justified. Where when hit by a dark type move, its special attack goes that on. That would have made Caldeo infinitely better. Because uh -huh. it's... Attack stat is 72. And you might say, oh, 72 is respectable. That special attack is 129. Mm. And if you're going to run an attack-based one, you basically need Sword Stance. 
But I find this thing is a better special attacker because its special attack is naturally higher. And I've said this on numerous occasions. This move deals physical damage. Meaning you can actually run the special attack. Though this thing also doesn't get nasty plot. Well, because it's... Uh, it's too noble to think of such nasty thoughts. Okay, before we end, just double checking. Yeah, it's icy wind. Yeah, it's still icy wind. Uh huh. They they actually haven't they haven't fixed this thing. Nope. Though it has more physical options now, which is great. I personally kind of hate Caldeo mm. because its stats and ability. Because its stats and ability are so freaking weird. Though, one of the more interesting things, because of Justify, that you can do if you really want to, you can invest heavily in special attack and have its physical attack um, have minimum investments and use Justify to make this thing a really good mixed attacker. Or you could go <laughs> pure... Physical be because uh, justified would get like if you're to doing a standard VGC four on four and aren't doing a four six on six that thing in doubles if you Let's give go check it, that tree that thing in doubles if you give it a justified boost would get to a plus four physical attack and that's actually. Decent. Off the 72 special attack, I mean, off the 72 attack, that's not bad. And if you're actually doing a full 6 on 6, and before we go fight the green, it's, the physical attack would be times 4. What would an adamant Keldeo at times 4 be? Level 100, beneficial nature is only 267. But 267 times 4. I mean, that's level... I know it's level 100, but that basically means you, like, double, and that's plus 2. You're already at 400. 1,068. Yeah, that's actually pretty good, but it takes times 6 to do it. Well, that takes times 6 justified to get there. And, again, uh, you could run somewhat minimum... Okay, times 4. Mm. And you could run somewhat minimum investment to have a decent mixed attack, or I just hate... I wish Caldeo had Ice Beam and some other good special coverage. Yeah, I wish it had Ice Beam and Energy Ball, or Ice Beam and Grass, not... Shaky Shaky. I think this takes like 10 times. I, I assume this would take a few... Did something move in the branches? There he is. Something swooped down from the tree and pulled you into a Pokemon den. <laughs> it's great! It's the big Chungus. I love this Fly thing. I brought a Marshadow. I love this thing for how dopey it is. Because I knew they would force me into- Because I can just do this. And I, can, <clears throat> and I can do this. Actually, the funny uh, thing is, I think technically, if you to because Max Knuckle increases your attack, it's only a ninety-five power move. I think because of the tactician boost, the force bomb is actually stronger. Yeah, but I don't actually know if this thing has shields or anything. I want some attack buffs. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. Cause it... No, it doesn't seem to have any shields. It just seems like Greedon is fucking thick. Well, no, in a minute. No, it's just Greedon's fucking thick. That's fine. Uh, that's fine enough. I don't care. Three shot, that's that's okay. Me my attack buffs were a good idea then. I 
That's so stupid. The aftershock of the battle caused a lot of berries to fall from the tree. Third Three corn, corn, ten citrus, citrus, one last it, 20. twenty tomato, fifteen honeydew, hundo. Oh, hundo. Yeah, it, it's missing a Y. Chaffle. Five chaffle. Ooh. One Star starf. God damn. Like I said, it's like fifty berries. Uh. Five uh, uh, travel berries, and also go on the extreme calorie kiss. Oh, wait. And now, we need to truly end this. What the hell's left to do other than the fucking spirit tomb, which we are not going to sit here and fucking do? Because technically we still have the Ultra Beast shit. <laughs> what? There was a fourth legendary Pokemon after Cavalli and Dragon on the Verizon Wireless? Huh. If only it stuck it out a bit longer out there. Bow Wharf. Well, thank up job as always, Carter. Thanks for the report. Bat. They program that. Clearly. <laughs> we can end in it. Why were you so disappointed, Yamper? You had such potential to be an electric fairy type, and then you fucking squandered it. You also had potential to be good, and you squandered it. I mean, there are so, so many interesting- Oh! I, I guess- even if I don't encounter them, I guess I should go mention the Ultra Beast just to truly call this and then explain a couple of things. Because you have to come back here and ask him about the note and stuff. And then that properly sets that up. Technically, if you really wanted to shiny hunt things later, you could catch them, but not take them or just flat out not catch them and the game will give you an opportunity. Yeah, but at this point it's we already showed the thing. If I, I, I know if just, I was going to shun it I'm just saying Hang yeah. on. Yeah. Isn't that the max layer there in the clue? Hmm. Hmm? What happened? Creatures, a horde of creatures appeared inside the max layer and we don't know if they're Pokemon. What? That sets it up. Mm -hmm. Something caused alien beings to appear, and this is somehow connected to that ultra wormhole that opened up briefly in the sky. Well, sounds like some crazy new things afoot. Also, it, it, I, uh, it came from the. They came from, from the, the ultra beyond. Or uh, wrapping stuff up. It has basically been confirmed that he is Rose's brother because if, yeah. you, if you get his ultra rare Lee card, it flat out just says he's Rose's younger brother. So, okay. So, that... So, basically, I'm probably not gonna show. It's the same rules, but Ultra Beast are in there. Well, one other thing to show Walt over a little... No, no the lady was the backpack... After you do enough Dynamax adventures, she will have a gift portal. Yeah. Which is also shiny lock. But I think you can just ca encounter portal in the dens themselves. What are we gonna call this? So, yeah. I, we, d we, d we did the main thing I did, which was chase the Swords of Justice around. Uh huh. But, uh huh. And you actually get to catch a Chaldeo, which is the first time they've ever allowed that. Well, I went the easier route and called it in a um, netball. Netballs on water types are better than ultra balls by a small margin. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I'm probably about to end this. And I set up the ultra beast. Because the ultra beast can appear like other Pokemon, all that effectively does is that just gives you more to find in there. Yeah. So, because it's getting uncomfortably hot, 
I'm standing up for a second. Ow. Okay, so with all of that said, I'm just gonna stand here as I'm gonna do my proper fan out. With all of that rambling nonsense over, this basically covers the second DLC. Outside of me maybe doing some shiny hunts or something. But anyway, I just wanted to go get the Swords of Justice. This has been the Crown Tundra pretty much in Pokemon Sword. This is my sword file. With all of that rambling out of the way, we need to go. I'm going to fade into the end slate. So, I will see you all next time with whatever comes after this. Yeah, damn it. At some point, I really should record multiplayer. But anyway, goodbye for now, everybody. It's time for the question of the day. My overall thoughts on the topic. So anyway, what is your opinion on Caldeo and the stats, moveset, and ability it has access to? I have a lot to say because on the one hand, I am incredibly conflicted. Caldeo has an amazing special attack stat. But its move pool is kind of shallow. This is a special attack using water type that does not have access to ice beam. Your ability is justified and your physical attack is lower than your special attack. Overall, Caldeo has some unique and interesting utility moves because Caldeo has taunt. It also has access to Calm Mind, and you do get a safe water move in Scald that is great on a special attack using water type. I really do think missing out on Ice Beam as a coverage option is bad because Caldeo really does need Ice as a coverage option because that covers both grass and flying. Because Caldeo is a water fighting type, that single coverage option hits a lot of your checks for super effective damage. Especially because water and fighting would both be resisted by grass and poison, meaning a lot of common grass types, Caldeo cannot hit for super effective damage, and that, in my opinion, is bad. However, Caldeo is a really good stall breaker because it has access to taunt, and that can stop slower, more passive Pokemon from being able to heal, set up defense, and special defense boosts while also stopping status moves like Toxic from being spammed. So, Caldeo is really good in that department, especially considering you have access to Secret Sword, meaning your special attack hits the target's physical defense. This makes Caldeo a really good check to a Pokemon like Eviolite Chansey. So I'm not saying Caldeo is bad. And if you want a surprise idea, Caldeo running a mixed attacking set to actually make use of your decent physical attack stat is not that bad because that also gives you a few extra coverage options that people might not completely expect to see on a Caldeo. Now, to finish off my thoughts, Caldeo is a good Pokemon. I just wish Caldeo had a different ability in the Resolute form that was more suited to a special attack using Pokemon. They really should have made the default Caldeo be a physical attack using Pokemon. And when you give it Secret Sword and make it a special attack using Pokemon, your ability and stats flip 
So now you have a higher special attack? And you lose the ability Justify to gain either a special attack equivalent to Justified or you get some kind of other ability that might be useful to a special attacker or you get something crazy that could make Caldeo far more overpowered? Like maybe you get adaptability, so now you have double stab damage on top of your unique special move, Secret Sword. I think at that point, Caldeo would be way better. It would not inherently need ice coverage, but I really do wish Caldeo had more than just Icy Wind. And yes, from a... Double battle perspective in a format that actually allows mythical Pokemon. So I'm talking more of a Smogon doubles format. Keldeo can be a great speed control Pokemon because of Icy Wind. But anyway, I am rambling and I really should go. You can leave your thoughts, opinions, and answers in the comments or you can leave them on social media. All of my social media links, as well as my Discord link, are in the video description. Now, as always, I need to be a shield for a minute. If you subscribe to the channel, and if you follow me on social media, that really helps our communities grow. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I hope I will see you all next time. So, as always, Always good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, everybody. I hope you come back someday. See you later.